Hello internet and welcome back to my channel to the very last video of 2017. It's Kat and today you've joined me setting up my new bullet journal for the year or at least a few months ahead. As I am migrating into my second of a bullet journal I decided that I wanted to have a theme for these first spreads as well and not just any themes for each month. I didn't really have a theme for these spreads in my old journal and many pages turned out looking quite empty and boring so I wanted to change that. I decided to go with mountains and evergreen trees. They're easy to draw and or around throughout the entire year and I also like the idea of the ups and downs and the mountains representing the ups and downs in life. I didn't really change up my key since this system has worked out pretty well for me in the last journal but I decided to add a colour code, mainly to separate personal and university things. I do have a separate planner for uni but using two planning systems at the same time didn't really work out for me so I want to include all of my uni things into my bullet journal hence the colour coding system. I also added an overview of the entire year. I'll mainly flip back to this page whenever I'm planning for the next one. Next stop is my future look. I decided to go for only 6 months instead of the entire year because I believe I'll have reached the end of this journal before the end of June already. For now there is only a few birthdays and my already scheduled exams in there. As for my New Year's resolutions, I decided to focus on three categories next year. Fitness, productivity and the house. As you might know, I moved house in October but we plan on renovating the place throughout the next year. So that will definitely eat up quite a lot of my time. Next to what I want to achieve in 2018 is what I will have achieved. A collection of memories of the year. I did use monthly memory and gratitude logs but as much as I enjoy them I didn't really find the time to add something to them every day so I opted for a sketchbook and one memory page for the entire year instead. The Moon Faces page is an entirely new addition to my bullet journal. Due to my rather long way to uni I have to get up much earlier than I did when I was in school so my sleeping pattern isn't exactly what it's supposed to be and I end up relying on coffee instead of sleep which definitely isn't a good idea. So I decided to go with a new sleep track in January which will include Moon Faces so this page is just for me to flip back to whenever I set up a new sleep tracker. Next up is my YouTube planning section where I'll note down video ideas and also keep track of milestones such as having uploaded 20 videos or reaching 300 subscribers. By the way, a big thank you to the 288 people already being here. You're awesome! <laughs> as for the book and watch list, I just love looking back at what I read and watched at the end of the year, so that spread is definitely staying. I switched from a monthly blog tracker to an annual one since this just seems more practical. Also ditched the monthly mood trackers and decided to try out a year in pixels. We'll see how that turns out.
Last but not least is my routine spread. I noted down an ideal day at uni. I started to find a balance between getting things done around the house studying at me time. So I decided to structure my daily routine more, which will hopefully also help with coffee and sleep problems. And that was the entire setup for 2018. Next up would be my monthly setup for January, which you can check out over on my blog, the links in the description, as well as links to all of the materials I use if you're interested in those. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I'd be happy to see you around here again. And until then, goodbye and happy new year 2018.